for this. It's brilliant. Oh, okay. Me and your dad got that for you, right? Mm -hmm. I was going to wait to open it, but Dad said it was all right. Are you sleeping down here because you were bladded last night? Probably don't need to go into that, love. I wasn't feeling too well, so I didn't want to disturb your dad. OK. You'll be all right for the party, though, yeah? Everyone will be here. Maybe not everyone. Probably a good job. Mm. Oh, only a couple more of these to go. Are we putting them in a car or walking them over? Uh, I'm sure we can manage. Most of it's your stuff as it happens. Right, well, I'll give you a hand whenever. Oh, well, don't blow us away with your enthusiasm. Anyone would think she weren't excited about moving. Well, you can't expect Vanessa to be jumping for joy. Yeah. Thanks, but I'll be OK. Yeah, I know, love, but, uh, hey, you've been wanting to move in together for ages and now it's happening. Yeah, it's just, well, we're a bit worried that it might feel a bit crowded. Yeah, I know what you mean. This one said she was worried yesterday. So... But uh, I promise it won't be that bad. I mean, Nora and Sarah will be out most of the time and the little ones will be off to school soon, so it'll just be us three rattling round the place. Three old maids, eh? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, not you two, obviously, but, um... Oh, you'll barely notice I'm there. Hello. Oh, hello, love. Hey. You all ready for the big trip? Uh, yeah, nearly, I think so. Just, um, I'm going to set off about lunchtime cos, you know, it's a long drive, so I don't want to leave it too late. We'll all be there to see you off. You all packed? Yeah, nearly. But I could do with borrowing a suitcase. Oh, really, could you? Well, yeah, I've got way more stuff than what we thought. Well, we kind of need the ones we've already got, thanks, cos, uh, we're moving as well. I don't know if you've noticed. Oh, all right, well, just a small one would do. Yeah, I'm sure we can find something. I'll tell you what, I'll go and find one, yeah? I mean, it'll be easy enough for you to give it us back, cos you're only moving to Scotland, aren't you? So I'll go and find one. Right, we need to talk about the PT business in the calf. Oh, can we just get toast here? Yeah, sure, sure. Or we can get out from under certain people's feet. All right. Oh, I've had some news. An investment company. I want to talk about backing us. They rang. Really? Yeah, the secretary said the MD was interested in backing startups, which I guess is us. Well, they're going to arrange a meeting anyway. Wait, like, oh, it's, uh, it's Daisy from the gym. She reckon Big Reg has found out what we're up to. Surprise, surprise, he's less than pleased. Hang on. Couldn't these investment people be Big Reg mucking us around? You know what he's like? Yeah, and I've checked the companies out online and it all seems pretty legit. And Big Reg, you'll, mate, you'll get over it. Mm, yeah. Did I, but... Billy, come on, you're overthinking this. Right, we'll see you later, yeah? Well. I am really sorry. I just found out that my career is more or less over. I guess I just lost it. Well, can you put me through to him now? <sighs> Not wait. I... <sighs> Perhaps you could tell your sleepover guest in this house we locked the bathroom door of a morning, even if he was only shaving. Sorry? Oh, never mind. Are you two planning on being here all day? No. Why? No reason. I've already left him a load of messages and he hasn't rung me back. We're all busy, but some of us managed to return calls. <sighs> all right, when he can. Bye. Ah, thanks. Kim's lawyer. Oh, it'd be easier to get an audience with the Pope. Mm, further to travel. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Can someone help me to get a bowl out? I try not to bend over if I can avoid it. Fancy the pub later. Might you won't believe. <laughs> right, Dad. Yes, of course, no problem. The blue one. Yeah. Oh, we're staying the night now, are we? Oh. Coffee will be lovely. Mm. I'm off. Well, I won't keep you, but I'm wearing two hats. Hat one, Nicola King, private citizen. Wants to know when she's getting paid. Look. Hat two, councillor Nicola King. Also wants to know when Nicola King, private citizen, is getting paid, along with her work colleagues. He's doing his best. <coughs> Excuse me. And now, goodbye. See you later. Yeah. Oh, are you going to go and sit and make pretend phone calls in that smoking room where the office was? Did you hear about Jessie's meltdown? I was there, and don't change the subject. 
I need to know what he's doing about the factory. It's all very well him telling me my job's safe, but talk's cheap. Here you go, darling. Have this small one. Don't let Kitty, you're busy, busy, busy. Oh, this attitude's really helping you. No, it's no attitude. I just don't really like giving stuff away I know I'm not going to get back. It's a suitcase. It's my suitcase. Do you, know, you know, today maybe really isn't the day, Mother. Bring, bring! Bring, bring! Oh, I'm really sorry. I'm going to have to take this. It's really important. Hi, um, thank you so much for calling me back. Yeah, I really appreciate that. Oh, you're being that. ridiculous. Whatever. Yeah. Well, I'll talk to you later. And if not, you know what time I'm leaving, don't you? Yeah. Is this all you've got? I was hoping for some decent cakes for tonight and our first night as roomies. <laughs> Ever thought of expanding your range? Ever thought of going elsewhere? Hey, you OK? You look a bit lost. Let's see. I'm sort of, you know, in a state about my dad and I'm going to be living with Faith. So, no. Yeah, that's kind of why I'm here. Leave it with me. Actually, hang on. <clears throat> Faith, you got a sec? Oh, well, sort of in the middle of something, love. Well, I can't wait for your customer feedback. <laughs> I'm tingling with excitement. It's just everything's so mad at home. No, oh, well, tell me someone new. <laughs> yeah, but we're just trying to get back to normal after, you know, Sam and Lydia have got loads on, Samson's coming home, I'm really busy at the vets, and I'm just worried about Dad. He's going to be left on his own a lot. Oh, no, you see, you don't want that. Not with how he is right now, he'll start brooding. Exactly. And Lydia is trying her best, but we just need someone to take charge of the family, to look after us all properly. Kind of like a, a matriarch. But I'm, I don't know what to do. Huh? Well, I suppose I... I suppose I could give it a go. <laughs> really? No, I, I don't think we could ask that of you. And it's a great idea, but you'd, you'd have to move in with us. Well, the needs most, and... See, I know charities had her worries, but... I can think of one person who'll be extremely disappointed. Yeah. Well, leave it with me. All right. Belay the cake order. And there was me off to buy a speedboat. They all right? Devastated, I expect. Still. Now to do. I think she's going to apologise or just pretend it never happened. It better be the first. If I'd have been there yesterday, I'd have given a what for. Layla, David. Jessa. Look, can I just say how sorry I am for yesterday? Why did something happen? Oh, yeah, I do have a vague memory of someone drinking too much and being incredibly obnoxious. Look, I was totally out of order. I should never have suggested that you were... To blame for Mayor. No. You shouldn't. Get out. That's why I want to apologise. I'm really sorry. <sighs> Look, Mayor fooled all of us. So let's just try and move past it, yeah? You really gave a what for. Well done. It won't be broken already. Well, why won't it move? Batteries, probably. Don't worry. I'm sure David sells them. Yeah, pass it here, see what I can find. Hey, Ellis wanted you to know that he's gone to that meeting. You said he'd mentioned it to you. That was quick. Which is a good thing, surely. I didn't say it wasn't. Where's it happening? I don't know, actually. Can't be far, though, cos he said he'd be back in time for the party! <laughs> hey, you OK? I thought you'd be pleased. Yeah, I am. Of course I am. Hey. Hey. Oh, that from Scotland? Uh, well, I was. Had a big row with Mum. No, I can't find her anywhere. Oh, what about? Oh, well, I've got a good idea. But I'm going to start talking to her when she's been a cow. Anyway, just be prepared that you've got all this to come, won't you? What do you mean? Well, think about it. With me gone, it usually starts messing about all the time, will it? Oh, well, she messed me about enough for Andy. Well, it's nothing compared to what she's actually capable of, believe me. And he's actually overreacting a bit. Listen, it's hard enough going already. 
She's made it a hundred times worse by kicking off. Just, I just don't get why she's like it. Parents, eh? Hmm. Can't live with them. Can't live with them. Hi, I'm Ellis Chapman, and welcome to the home of our new venture. Uh, hi, welcome. I'm Ellis Chapman, and together with my brother Billy, we're going. Hey, Ellis. Bet you didn't expect to see me. Oh, I think I see some more presents in your future, April. Yay! You look ridiculous. Where's the birthday girl? <laughs> uh, why? Because he found that there was free food. Oh, I thought you should know, Marlon. The 1990s have been in touch. They want their hair cut back. Oh, <laughs> I've never heard that before. <laughs> hey, it's a bit quiet, isn't it? <laughs> Should we have some music? Party! Yeah, yeah! Have your party! Hi, Alice. Uh, I'm just wondering where you are, cos the party's just starting. Just give us a call when you get this, OK? Yeah? So, how are we today? A little hungover, perchance? Oh. OK, yeah. I guess it's all around the village. Uh, well, pretty much so, yeah. <laughs> We're running low on juice for the kids. I'll just snip out and grab some. Thanks, love. I could do without another disaster. Chaz all set to go, is she? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's all packed up and ready to help Debbie settle in. Be back soon, you know. You'll notice I'm attempting to have a conversation that ignores that. Sorry. I have to stop anyway. I'm guessing you're not in the mood after, after yesterday. Well observed. Putting games in the pub. Well, if the game was Jesse insults everyone and then throws up into one of Charity's planters, then yes. I mean, such larks. But, you know, relationships need work, don't they? Lots of it. Dusting, only I forgot my duster. Look, I've been doing everything to try and help you get better, and you're in here just. What's that smell? Oh! Ah, worse! What's the matter? Oh, my back, it's just got worse. Oh, oh I can barely it? move. Oh! We need to go inside. Oh, all right, come on, lean on me. Yeah. All right, then. Okay, young man, go the wee, please. We're going to be stopping every five minutes, do we? Although saying that, which has pregnant, we'll probably be stopping every five minutes anyway, won't we? Hey. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Just gonna miss you, that's all. Listen, I, I can call this off right now if you don't want me no, to. No, don't out. be daft. Well, you can come with us. I mean it. Yeah, and so do I. This is a big thing for you, and I know you're gonna make a success of it. I'd never get in the way of that, especially after everything that I've put you through. Hey, I was being daft. Listen, you and Jack, you come before anything else, OK? And I can go and unpack that car right now. No, Mum, I want you to go. 
Seriously, I just want you to be happy. I'll be fine, I promise. Just look, when you go, I won't come out, OK? I don't think I can take being out with everyone else. OK, but... <laughs> it's good. Change is good, yeah? No, you see, you're not listening. All I'm saying is, when Samson gets here, you need to come straight out with it, like pulling off a plaster. It's not that simple. Well, of course it is. Your real name's not Lydia, it's Jenny Finn, and when you were 15 years Whoa, old... Whoa, no, let them handle it themselves. All right, all right. But, you know, if yeah, any of you need any advice, that is what I am here for. You can consider me your substitute matriarch. <laughs> or what? what? What is going on here? She's moving in, apparently. Yay. Ah, well, change at the dingles, I guess. I mean, I'm kind of OK, except the money, obviously. It's not like being out of work's left me twiddling my thumbs. Yeah, you've got your counsellor stuff. Exactly. You wouldn't believe how busy I get. Well, the extra time will be good, won't it? Mm. Yeah. It's not just about me, though, is it? You have to think about people like Billy and Dawn. They've both got, you know, a past. They need jobs. Devil makes work for idle hands, as dear old Edna used to say. Did she? I don't know, probably. I used to tune out. But the point is, it'd be good to have some timetable to getting the place reopened and us all back to work. Well, Jay's doing his best. You know, it'll be fine. <sighs> Despite... People putting pressure on him all the time. You can hardly blame me. No, I don't mean you. I, you know, and there's all that business with him and Rishi, isn't there? What? What business with Rishi? Oh, nothing. Just, um, what, you know, they're, they're not getting on very well, are they? That's all. Oh, hello? Dad? Who? Oh, don't, Dad, don't fuss. What? It's his back. He's had a spasm. <laughs> Somebody hasn't been doing her job keeping an eye on him. I just need to lie down. I'm... Oh! That, that footstool, yeah, Laurel. Yeah. It's not too much trouble. No. It'll pass, eventually. I'm sorry to interrupt your chat. Oh, no, don't worry. It was nothing important. <clears throat> Better side of that, Sarah? Yeah, she's a bit emotional. Take care of yourself, love. Right, we'll be up to see you soon, OK? Now, you will look after your mum, won't you? Yes. All right, then. Let's just get you strapped in. Any word for my charity? Go on, keep drinking out. She'll be here, surely. Oh, I wouldn't bank on it. Uh, give it a few minutes. No, I haven't uh... got time. But Chaz is waiting, so... If you speak to her, just tell her I'll call and I've settled in or whatever, yeah? Right, well, then. This is it. Yep. This is it. So, uh, safe journey. Usual emotional mess, I see. <laughs> they know me. Mr. Sentimental. Big ball of mush. You'll be up in a few weeks, yeah? Yeah. Right, well, see you later, everyone. Bye. Bye, love. Charity play now. <laughs> Debbie was looking for you. She said you kicked off. No, we kicked off. Yeah, it takes two. Maybe you should have both made the effort, then. Well, I'm not the one leaving. I'm not the one going all that way. It's only Scotland. Well, I'm sorry that I don't find that more comforting. I mean, supposing she never comes back? Well, that's her decision. Be happy for her. Right. What if you love someone, set them free? If it's what she wants. Yeah, well, it's not what I want. This one, really? Yeah, it's got horses. It's a big book. 
just a little bit, please. It is my birthday. Right, um, well then, um, right, there, there, there was once this horse, and he were called Dobbin, and he used to hang around the stables with all his friends, who were called, um, Gigi, Desert Orchid, and Red Rum. Uh, are you sure you're reading that right? At least one of them should be called Black Beauty. Hey, I was just getting there. Where's Billy? And so... He's gone down the shop. You OK? Well, I've been better. Where have you been? We were worried. Well, I got held up, Mum. Oh, is the meeting? I don't want to talk about it. What, some kind of time waster? <laughs> what? Oh, great. When up behind him came out of nowhere... Oh, no! Knew it! Knew it! Ellis! Do you not remember me telling you to do one? Figured maybe I'd try for a second time. Terrific. Hey, Jesse, looking fabulous as always. Look, like, how about you get back in that thing and crawl back to whatever hole you crawled out of? My car! Oh, sorry, love. That belongs to you. It was my birthday present. But I told you, I don't want you here. Never mind, him. It's just a father and son thing. Look, I'm, I'm really sorry, but uh, don't worry. I'll sort it. Is this...? Yes. It's Alice's dad. But you can call me Al. And Emmerdale continues in half an hour.